Hi there, this is Oliver from Lentus.com and well in this tutorial we are going to see how to sculpt models here in Blender. So let's go ahead and create a new sphere, make it a little bigger. And well first of all I'm going to prepare a bit the scene so it's more comfortable for us to sculpt uh, these lines, these grids and lamps or that things are not uh, very useful on the sculpt mode so we can open with the key N this panel and on display tab activate only render okay let's hide that window and now we're going to take a look uh, to an important modifier very used for the uh, sculpting which is the multi-resolution. Multi-resolution works uh, as something like the subdivision surface modifier but it allows you to uh, to store different uh, levels of uh, detail in each level of subdivision. Alright, so here uh, you can subdivide this model a few times and you will have this thing here. Okay, here in the preview you uh, uh, you set the level that you want to see, the level of subdivision you want to see on the object mode. Here on Sculpt uh, you select the level of subdivision you want to see on the Sculpt mode and here you select the level of subdivision that you want to see on the final render. Alright, so uh, maybe for sculpting you want uh, the, the highest level of subdivision but for the object mode you may be are okay with something like this so you can rotate the camera and move things around smoothly right for now let's uh, stay on three so let's go here and smooth this model well actually not so you can see better the subdivisions and all that stuff all right and once uh, this is said uh, let's go to the sculpt mode and now once in the sculpt mode I'm going to uh, switch between my mouse and the pen tablet because if you have a pen tablet it's very very useful for sculpting because uh, you can uh, give some use to the pressure of the pen okay so you will select the tools for uh, sculpting here okay you can open this window with T or just clicking and dragging this uh, button here alright now I'm going to uh, make this full screen and well here you have the tools for sculpting right we're going to see some of them uh, in a few moments and here you have the options like the radius of the brush and the strength of the brush so let's try this uh, well this is the F brush normal brush let's try something here so here you have the effect that you get uh, using this tool okay I'm going to give uh, one more subdivision to this alright and also uh, let's go to the object mode and smooth it alright it's called mode and now uh, let's change the radius for example so you can see the effect now it's very bigger and here is smaller you can also change the radius of the brush by pressing F and dragging and click when you have the, the the size you want okay also you can switch the the strength of the brush by pressing shift F and dragging okay here is uh, very hard and here is very soft right so here you have a lot of strength and here you can see that it's, it has almost not any effect on the model okay let's stay for something like this uh, another thing is uh, this option here is front faces only which means that uh, it will only affect to the faces that you have in front of you so the bus side will be not a factor 
not affected or if 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 we hadn't these faces here and we just had these faces here this should be the back side of that faces so they won't be affected okay uh, here you have this option which is add up subtract here you are adding and here you are subtracting volume right the thing for doing it is uh, well while uh, while painting if you click if you press control at the same time you will invert the effect okay so add and pressing control subtract okay let's try another tools here the grab is very very used for uh, putting volumes and defining shapes at the very beginning of the of the sculpting okay, like this okay then you have uh, for example uh, F clay I like a lot this uh, tool for start well, let's give it a, some more strength for starting to uh, put in shapes in their position at the starting of the, of the modeling okay uh, at, the, at the end of this video I will put a time-lapse uh, recording of uh, a sculpt I will do later so you will see the, the, the process the entire process of sculpting a, a face of a character alright let's select uh, something different for example this one okay this is for oh a horn <laughs> just like that uh, this is for dragging some volumes over a plane okay there are a lot of, of things going on here this is for pinching okay here you have the effect polish this is for smoothing things around this is a uh, real smooth and here is a flatten okay this will make a surface uh, almost flat here you have it and well I recommend you to use uh, all of them so you can see uh, what uh, is the effect of each one of them alright now different things here the stroke well here you can uh, select the, the spacing of the stroke alright and normally something uh, small but when you work with textures and all that stuff uh, maybe you prefer to use uh, a big spacing so as you can see even I drag the pen it will only uh, put a dot And it shows it up. Okay, here you have different options for uh, applying the the stroke, and here is the smooth stroke option. This is quite useful uh, when you want to use to make a, a quite a steady stroke. Let's select a, a tool like this one, with a lot of strength and a little radius, something like this and you will see here the effect of the smooth stroke it will follow your mouse in a distance so you will be able to uh, make more steady strokes right, if you uh, have used uh, ZBrush or Matbox or things like that you probably know this tool okay curve this defines the shape of the tip of the brush right so for example right now you can see that is quite smooth okay this is the shape but if we make something like this very sharp it will have this effect okay these hard uh, brushes I find them very useful for the beginning of the sculpting okay it's very easy with them to put shapes where you want them. 
okay to add volume or or subtract volume very easy here you have some uh, predefined shapes for the curve and you can also create your own ones like this for example as you can see Okay, very interesting. <laughs> All right, texture. You can use textures, right? Like for example, well, these clouds. Here you can uh, create a new texture on the on the texture panel, and here, and then use it there for the brush. I mean, I don't know, marble, right? Let's call this. Uh, brush texture all right and here we have the marble so now as you can see it's using that uh, that texture as the brush tip okay also there are several things you can do here let me take a look I don't remember angle for example uh, I love this option here rake because it allows the texture to rotate depending on the direction in which you are dragging the brush right so it's very useful for uh, for example creating uh, let me take a look at this creating things like uh, imitation of hairs or things like that you know if you deactivate it it will be more random well I'm not seeing any real difference right now but it should have difference <laughs> maybe with a different texture Actually, I have never used a lot of these tools, so, well, maybe in a more advanced uh, sculpting tutorial, I will, uh, I don't know, study all of these features more deep, in a more deep way, in a deeper way, sorry, <laughs> and, and I'll explain you. Uh, all right, now let's go, well, deactivate the texture. Symmetry. Well, if you have a, a sphere, right now we have changed it a lot, but when we have a, a real symmetry, okay, let's put here very hard edge, you can see that it affects in symmetry, right? Right now on the x axis. Okay, so this is quite useful for, uh, for example, uh, if you are sculpting a face, you can use that symmetry. And well, it's like a mirror modifier. Here, the threaded sculpt uh, will help uh, in the performance if you have uh, more than one thread on your computer. Fast Navigate will uh, show up just the very basic um, subdivision level when you rotate the camera. So if you have a very dense model, it will be faster when rotating the camera and all that stuff right show brush will show that circle around the cursor right with the you have it right now I don't have the brush but I prefer to to see it unified settings will make that uh, all the tools shares uh, share uh, the the radius and the strand uh, by default, they only share the radius, but not the strength. Each tool has its own strength. If I change tool, well, it's not strange, but uh, here you can see that it's a different strength. All right, if we apply this here, we will get unified strength between uh, different tools. There you have it. Right appearance. Well, these are the colors for the for the brushes. Add color and subtract color. 
here you can see that if I press Ctrl when 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 painting I will get a blue brush but I can get a green one okay if I prefer so and this could be a more all right this way is more visible and here we have a different menu for the tools also a thing that you may find useful is that uh, you can create uh, new tools for example let's say that you use a lot this tool but with different uh, you know different parameters here okay something like this okay so if you uh, use a lot that tool with these parameters you can go here and add a new tool and you can call it my own sorry tool for example right so now you will have here my own tool Also, you can see that there are two brushes using this uh, these uh, parameters. So this one probably is one of them, but you can go here and make it now a single tool. So now it's a very different tool from the other tools. And tool uh, zero one. And now I have here my own tool. And I can create a custom cure for it like this. And if I select another one, my own tool will not be the same. So now it's actually a different tool. Also, it's uh, put in here two. Well, I suppose it's because uh, the F button is uh, applied. So well it detects it as another user but actually there is only one user alright this is because the F button uh, is because if you uh, exit blender and this is not used by any um, user this will be deleted the same happens with textures materials and all that stuff so you have this option here which is a fake user and it allows you to even you are not using that tool or that data block it will be detected by blender like if it was actually being used so it will it, it won't delete that data block when exiting blender All right. well so i think that uh, this is enough for sculpting so right now i'm going to play a video of uh, well me sculpting a character face uh, that face will be a basic phase sculpting but well it will serve uh, us for uh, in future tutorials making the retopo or even painting textures I don't know right but uh, this way you will uh, you will be able to see uh, the workflow the sculpting workflow for a character phase right uh, I, I, I will be doing a character phase but of course you could do an entire character alright so Having this said, uh, see you soon on future tutorials and happy Blender. I hope you enjoy uh, the time lapse. And sorry, I, did, I, I said happy Blender and it's not happy Blender, it's happy blending, you know it. <laughs> Bye.